And we begin at six with new details into a mother who was accused of killing her two toddler sons. Tonight, her family opens up to CBS 46, giving us insight into what could have possibly led up to this gruesome crime. Good afternoon and thanks for being with us. I'm Ben Swan. I'm Sharon Reed. Brenda Williams said she'd been crying out for help for her daughter for years, but the state, she says, ignored her. CBS 46 reporter Adam Murphy spoke with the woman's mother. He's live at the Fulton County Jail where Lamora Williams is in custody right now. Hey guys, I just got new information moments ago from the clerk of court and it is the arrest warrant in this case and it says here in part Lamora Williams knowingly and intentionally did cause the death of her two sons by placing them in an oven and turning it on. My daughter is a sick person if she did what I'm thinking she did. Wearing dark sunglasses to hide her tears, Brenda Williams is saddened but not surprised that her 24-year-old daughter, Lamora, is now charged with murder. Mora wasn't right. She hasn't been right. And when what happened three months ago that the baby's, the, the kid's father left her, I told him something tragic is going to happen. She's going to do something to those kids. She's going to do something to herself. Investigators said the two toddlers who died had burns on their bodies when they responded to the scene at the Oakland City West End Apartments in Atlanta. Plus, they removed a stove from the apartment. I did everything. I reported her to Defects at one time once her father died, and I did tell Defects everything because I wanted for them to either to give me the kids or get the kids out of her possession because at one time I thought she was really going nuts, just not feeding them. Lamora's family said she struggled most of her life with mental issues and may have been dealing with postpartum at the time of the incident. It's a tragedy which her sister thinks could have been prevented. She had issues and the fact that the state failed her, that's a problem. Plus, family said the writing was on the wall. Lomora routinely left her children home alone and even had attempted to cut her wrists. She was a slow learner. I had to pull out of school, do homeschool. She would do uh, little simple things like cut her, 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 my other daughter, you know, her doll's heads off. You see stuff like this in horror movies. But in my family, my two little grand, littlest grandkids are gone because of what my daughter did. I might need to go get help. This is hard. Lamora is charged with two counts of murder and one count of cruelty to children in the first degree. She waived her first appearance here at the jail today. Her next court appearance will be scheduled for two weeks from today. Live outside the Fulton County Jail, Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News.